How you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? All right. You know, I'm listening. This is the first time I've ever listened to your show. Why was it happening? This is the first time I've ever listened to your show. It just happens to be going through the radio station, and I know the talk of the town is about this horrible crime against this young man by that weird old Zimmerman. And I think it's just a shame. I'm, you know, you, you say um, racially charged America. That's America. <laughs> it's been like that from the beginning of time. So Americans, white America, have always abused black people. It's just been that way. My issue is in Chicago, every single hour of every single day in Chicago, but then it gets shot. You got a mayor who's supposed to be running the city who does nothing. Nothing. Your citizens are getting shot every single day. And nothing happens. I don't understand that. Does it make sense to you? You know, the situation on the streets of Chicago is very similar to the situation on the streets of Gary. And there's one comment I want to bring out from Karen Freeman Wilson over the weekend. She says in one of the a play, in one of the papers here, she just can't believe that there's not enough outrage. Exactly. There is no outrage. Kids are getting killed every single day in Chicago. Seriously, in foreign countries, nobody gets killed like that. Not nowhere. Nowhere. If a baseball team or a football team didn't win the championship or something, what are they going to do? They're going to fire the coach, right? Because they're not bringing in money to the whatever. But you got a mayor whose citizens are being killed every day and shot every day. What does he do? Nothing. Well, I understand your frustration with Rahm Emanuel, and I could understand your similar frustration with Karen Freeman Wilson because both of these mayors are in, in, in almost the exact situation where it's rampant, mostly young black on young black murder. Exactly. Nobody but, cares because black people are killing black people. Nobody cares. Uh, Nothing's going to happen until the black kids go kill the white kids. Then it's going to be an outrage. Now it's not an outrage that every single day somebody gets shot in Chicago. It's not an outrage. Because they're only black people. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, I I can hear the frustration and the outrage in your voice, but are you surprised that there's not more outrage in the black community over this? I am. I'm very surprised. I don't understand it. It's not making any kind of sense at all to allow this to happen. Well, Adrian, first of all, I, I appreciate you stumbling on this great radio station. And uh, But the over the years, I have done a number of stories where I shared with people. I said, you know, I don't understand why people aren't more outraged at, mm-hmm. at this. Now, one of those was there had been 50 indictments in Lake County of, uh, you know, our local leaders going to jail and all that. And mm-hmm. And I felt as if there was very little, if no, outrage over the whole thing. And I was right. And think yep. one day it kind of changed, and all of a sudden everyone's outraged over it. But for a long time I didn't understand it. And then it seemed like uh, maybe about a year and a half ago it just kind of changed on a dime. I suspect that a similar thing will happen here with the amount of murders in Chicago and Gary. That at some point that will change on a dime and people will start paying attention. Not just black people, not just white people, not just Hispanics. Everyone. Okay? But it hasn't happened yet. You could no, sit here and you could rip on Rahm Emanuel or Karen Freeman Wilson or the, the, the police or whatever, and the shooting continues. It does. And they know where the shooters are. They know where the gangbangers are. They know where the crime is. They know who's selling the drugs. They know all of that. And they do nothing. They let the guys sell the drugs and trade and do whatever. And they let them shoot each other. They don't care. You can call the police and they get shot. Nobody comes out. No, no, until it's over because they don't want to get shot. And I don't blame them. 
But who cares? Nobody cares. The little kids get shot every day. The lady walking going to work, she gets shot standing on the bus stop. Come on. Seriously? All right. Hey, uh, hang up and listen. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your phone call. Thank you. There's, there's Adrian. You know, she used, I know Bill Baker's guy shaving his rather boyish face right now. Uh, Bill, of course, the head of the River Commission and a uh, kind of a big player now in development around here. Um, but anyways, uh, he was my partner on the Calumet Press, and often he would say, well, you know, we need to be covering this, and we need to be covering that. And we put ourselves out there a few times and, you know, kind of made, well, why aren't more people upset about this or that? And then I learned a kind of a va couple of valuable lessons early on is that what I think people should be outraged about or might be outraged about that doesn't always coincide with what people are outraged about. And the killing in Gary and the asking uh, to the state police to come in and help us out and the killing in Chicago, I mean, all we really, are, nobody, it's not a, maybe it's because it's mostly black on black. Maybe it's because we have just become, uh, shall I say, uh, numb to just violence, and as long as it doesn't happen to one that anyone we know or down our street, we just kind of say, forget it, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like society in general. I really don't care about you or your family or anything about you. I just care about me, <laughs> and maybe that's just how it is. Maybe that's the defense mechanism we all have to do to get by day to day. I don't know. I don't know. I share this woman's frustration in understanding why there's not more outrage about what's happening and you know she's using chicago but i'm gonna use gary I, I mean you know i got long roots in gary and i just can't believe that gary has come to this i literally don't and here's